beginning, ending. I'm here. Time to face myself and admit what I see. Is it a beginning? Yes, it is. Does it end? Oh, yes. Beginning. To accept my flaws, my defects, my strengths, my power. Ending, accepting lies, have truths. Your shame, your guilt, your oh so negative energy and ways. Beginning to ask for humility, to accept the love of my children, the joy of their presence. Ending my reaction to your abusive ways, me torturing myself with your <clears throat> insecurities, your fears. Ending being hurt. Beginning to respond to the light that's in me. Beginning to ask <coughs> not just for revelation, but direction. Beginning to see you in a new light. Beginning to not like what I see. <laughs> Beginning to see who you really are. Nothing without me. Ending running after you, exhausting myself trying to keep up with you. Degrading myself pretending to love you. Beginning seeking God's fix to see there is so much more to me. Beginning, allowing myself to be touched, to feel. Beginning, to live again, to reach out again. Ending, being afraid. Ending, looking at me and not liking what I see. Beginning, to care for me, to cherish me, to have respect for me, to like being me, to love me. Ending, the neglect of my child, the harm with words from my mouth. Ending, being a victim. Beginning to see I can't do everything. Beginning to understand I can do all things. Beginning to be swift to hear, slow to speak. Ending this anger in me, your hold on me. Ending my calling your wrong right. Ending my not wanting to see. Ending walking in the way of the ungodly. Beginning to see how you could sleep after causing so much harm, so much hurt. For they do not sleep unless they have done evil and their sleep is taken away unless they make someone fall. Ending your attack on my children when it's me you want to hurt. Ending believing the lies that I'm not worthy. Ending telling myself that I can't do it. Beginning to cherish my motherhood, to love my child, to accept her love, her strength. Beginning to see her weaknesses, to see that she's just like me, to see that she needs me. Beginning to love it. Beginning to know that the Lord shall fight for me and I shall hold my peace. Beginning. Mm. That particular piece, each time I do that, women, some women in the audience think that it was written just for them. It was written for all women. And <coughs> at some moment in time, each woman and all women can relate to something that took place there. And the intro for this particular piece was... We come from a very, very large family, and we know a lot of people. And one of the people that we knew got caught up in what gets caught up, people get caught up in. And so he died. And so we had to go to his house to clean out his house. And throughout his house, we found pieces of paper. And on this piece of paper, one line I found on the piece of paper, and it said, Our Father, which art in heaven. And in that moment, I said, well, I wonder what was going on in his life that made him write this particular piece, that particular line. And so from that, this spurred from that. Brother, so you think that high is so good that it knows you so well? So good that when it's too much, your mind will say, that's enough and you'll come down? No, that's not how it works. Now they're beating on your chest, trying to bring you around. I know you tried, tried to stop. Tried to go it alone, but you should have asked me. I would have told you that. Not without the Lord, for we can do nothing on our own. It had you deep. It had you strong. The only thing you could do was do more. I see you looking in the mirror, hating what you see, hating yourself because you had to have it. Yet, so at ease with yourself once you got it. So, the rest of you think the money is green, that the car is clean, that the house is bigger. People won't call you nigga just because you got some money. Money that came from the sister selling, selling her. From the brother working and borrowing. From the mother giving up the kid. From the father. Did you see what he did? Yeah. Money that came from the folk. From the folks strung out on your cat, your scab, your crack, your coke, your smoke, 
your pills, your thrills, your blow, your snow. Why are you killing all the brothers? Why are you snatching all these mothers? The sisters just need some love. It ain't coming from no pipe. It can only come from above. Our Father, which art in heaven. So you think you can drive a little faster with the money you make. Fact is, you ain't going nowhere. Shame. Someone used to call you, son. Now the brother's dead. Don't know if he knew that Jesus died in his stead. How could he? He strung out on his bed. Brother. Mm -hmm. This piece here, I was commissioned by a women's group to write the, uh, something on. It's taken from Matthew chapter 21, verses 18 and 20. And a little background is Jesus was walking through Bethany and he got hungry. And it seems in his hunger, he went to a fig tree to get something to eat. But the fig tree was all dried up. It was just leaves on it. And the Bible says that he cursed that tree. And immediately, the, the tree withered. And his disciples said, my God, who is this man that even the trees obey him? And he said, greater things than this you will do if you follow me. So when they asked me to write this, they wanted me to write it on the perspective of the fig, of the tree, hmm. not the people around it. So, the fig. When did I begin to believe that I didn't need anyone else, that I could make it on my own? Living this life among so many, yet so very alone. Standing strong, standing tall, I spread my wings to catch my fall. My sweat is like a fig dried up. It offers no relief. I continue to perspire. Lord, help me from this heat. Just how long have I been doing this, doing this on my own? Not knowing, not believing in the love that he has shown. I stand very tall, but now I may begin to break. Someone help me. Help me. I don't know how much more of this I can take. My leaves drop as rain, looking, hoping for a vessel that someone can use. My leaves as rain look, hope for a body to light upon, to cleanse someone, someone else in need of good news. In helplessness, my leaves fall into the ground, not producing anything life-sustaining, I look to you. They say Jesus saves, but I, who have stood alone, stood facing the wind on my own, am unable to utter such words. I, who have stood alone, am nothing but a slave. A slave to my own greed as I fed only myself. A slave to my own mind. I don't need anybody else. A slave to my own sin. When did I give to anyone in need? But now I begin to bow. Me, the mighty fig tree. Yes, I'm ready now. I can see a forest taking shape. Just over the horizon, God has provided a way of escape. Yes, somehow I heard, thou hast prepared a table before me. Praise the Lord, thank God, hallelujah, I'm free. So in casting me down, he didn't curse me, he saved me. Saved me from myself, a slave has been set free. Oh yes, hear me now, Jesus saved a fig like me. Mm. <laughs> to a song. Yes, we all know from whence we came. Music was a great part, an integral part of that coming. Drums to communicate from one tribe to the next. A moaning to ease the pain in the belly of a ship. A sound, because we don't know the language, but we understand the message. You belong to me. A remembrance of the drums, the drums of home. We struggle to remember. A song begins. We don't understand the word, but we understand the message. Follow me to freedom. A melody, a rhythm, a spiritual is born. Born of the spirit, pointing, showing the way. Catch a glimpse of that song as a means to escape. How to freedom? This way to freedom. Through the water. Yes, we've been through the water, been through the fire and rain, been to the mountaintop. Yes, we're here now, and God is still troubling the water. What is it going to take? A flood? <laughs> to be black. 
looking at my children, and let me back up, let me back up. When you hear the words to this, you may think this is something that was just recently coined, but it was not. This particular piece was written 17, 18 years ago. <coughs> and the climate of hate that we live in is so appropriate even now. To be black. Looking at my children and seeing someone who may become the victim of someone else's hate. Yet I have to, must have hope. Yes, along, get along with them, I die. What, did, what does it mean to be black in a world that has chosen to forget, or should I say, not remember that it was from this color that life sprang? Yet that within itself doesn't mean that we're entitled to any great privilege, save for the fact of God's amazing grace keeping us. And how do we figure into the plan of God? when he himself told the Israelites to destroy the Canaanites, who were black, the Amorites, who were black, the Hittites, who were black, the Jebusites, Jebusites from the name Jebus, Jebus, third son of Canaan, Jebus who founded a city and called it Jerusalem to destroy the Jebusites, who were black. Why would God allow such a thing? I constantly ask myself. What was so loathsome about this black-skinned people that caused their destruction? Why do you allow so much hurt to be inflicted upon this dark-skinned people? I wrestled with God as Jacob wrestled with the angel. The answer only came as I began to write the words. What words? The words of Dr. King. Judge not my children on the color of their skin, but on the content of their character. Therein lied my answer. What answer you say? The answer that the Israelites that God has sent to destroy this dark-skinned people, the Israelites themselves were dark-skinned. The Israelites themselves were black. The Israelites were chosen because of one man, Abraham, who chose to do the will of God. So, to be black. Negro, Negroid, Negritic, Niger, Nigger. Nigger. What is it about that word that causes so much pain? I've always been intrigued by words, their origin, their meaning, and their sound. Where did this word come from? The prefix of the word means black. Negro in Spanish means black. So to be called a black nigger is simply being called a black black. But we were called black at a time when we, we didn't want to be black. We didn't know what we wanted to be. The pronunci pronunciation of the word from Niger to nigger was done. And it was taken, our history was taken, taken by the ones, but forgotten by us. Hence, it's no longer Niger, now it's nigger. Nigger, it's just a word, we allow it to become a weapon. My children know it means black. To be black, fighting the enemy, do we know who he is? Fighting the system, fighting that ticket, fighting our hair, fighting ourselves finding the desire to fight back with even harsher words and deeds. To be black, children raised, some loving the Lord, some loving to hate, some unkind, some full of wisdom, some already taught, some ready to learn, some just rude, some full of joy, some just full of it. To be black. My perfect man that God so fit not to be alone and made woman as your help meet. My perfect black man, let the God that created you recreate you. No pride, no half-stepping. No leading my sisters from each other just because we connect. No leading my sisters from their dreams just because we have them. No leading my sisters from their church just because we need one. No leading my sisters to act in a way that is not pleasing to God just because you want to be pleased. Be patient, my black man. To be black. My beautiful sisters, queens from the motherland, slaves at another man's hand, taken against our will, fighting to keep still. Woman, that special gift of God, sometimes perplexed, Lord, what do I do now? Sometimes amazed, Lord, you are too bad. Sometimes questioning, again, Lord. Sometimes not knowing, what did I get myself into? Sometimes searching, just what is your plan? Sometimes, thank you, Lord, thank you for this man. Sometimes, full of life, yes, Lord, here I am. To be black, 
hating, prideful, angry, sorry, doubtful, fading away, questioning, judging, condemning, rebellious, to be black. Love, loving, trusting, forgiving, young, old, no apologies, peaceful, strong, full of color, look and see me, making and bearing children, loving that woman, loving that man, knowing there is a God, a God who loves his people of color, this black people. So again, I ask, Lord, as I did at the beginning, why do you allow so much hate to be visited on this dark-skinned people, this black people? And the answer comes back again. You were all black at one time. Yes, to be black. In the words of Nina, oh, what a lovely, precious dream. To be young, gifted, and black. Mm -hmm. That's where it's at. That's where it's at. That's where it's at.